it's inevitable for all of us humans whether we are rich or not someday we all die of old age sometimes accidents that happen to us can result to a premature passing for us and that is the worst some illnesses can also cause death to us like cancer or heart failure for thousands of years various cultures have had figures to represent death one of the most common and enduring of these is a grim reaper usually a skeletal figure who is often shrouded in a dark hooded robe and carrying a scythe to reap human souls another one comes from japanese mythology it talks about the sinigami a supposed god that invites humans towards death according to the japanese sinigami lurk around the bodies of the recently deceased they thrive in areas which have been tainted by evil especially places where grisly deaths such as murders or suicides have occurred they haunt these impure areas looking for humans to haunt their victims become obsessed with death and the desire to kill themselves they obsess over any and every bad thing they may have done fueling their desire to commit suicide Sinigami are particularly fond of possessing wicked people however anyone unfortunate enough to see a Sinigami is doomed to suffer an unnatural and violent death local areas have many different superstitions regarding Sinigami and how to deal with them for example in Kumamoto prefecture it is believed that anyone attending an overnight vigil with a recently deceased body will be followed home by a Sinigami upon returning home you must have a cup of tea or a bowl of rice and lie down to sleep or else the Sinigami will possess you generally Sinigami are related to common folk belief that evil begets evil if a murder or a suicide takes place in a certain area there is sure to be another murder or suicide in that same area soon bloodshed and tragedy can repeat over and over again until an area is ritually purified and the souls of any victims appeased this theme is present in ancient legends such as the tale of the Heike to medieval ghost stories and even modern urban legends and films Sinigami are a key part of this cycle the souls of the wicked dead call to the souls of the wicked of the living goading them to commit further atrocities unless properly exercised this circle of death can continue forever the word Sinigami is made from two other Japanese words Shi and Hami this literally mean death and God Izanami is sometimes referred to as the first Sinigami because she introduced death to the world likewise Yama the god of the underworld is also thought of as a Sinigami but it's not entirely clear whether these two truly are death spirits or not nobody knows what the Sinigami actually look like as even if they are seen they never have the same look or shape that means that it would be impossible for somebody to re recognize them nowadays many Japanese people who belong to the Shinto region still very much believe in Sinigami as they do in other kami of course modern Japan is a very peculiar nation so most people do not literally believe in the existence of Sinigami that being said the Japanese love to honor their traditions so Sinigami are still very much a part of Japanese culture just as the Grim Reader is in the Western world Sinigami have appeared in several many popular television series from Japan as well two notable titles are Death Note and Bleeds in Death Note the Sinigami are grotesque creatures that write the names of mortals who are to die in a notebook one of these death notes falls to earth and into the hands of a human who tries to rule the world with it in Blitz however the Shinigami are actually a society of Japanese samurai whose job is to keep law and order in the, out in the afterlife they ask their souls to the beyond and keep lost and unruly souls in tech 
Stories about Shinigami have been popular throughout history and it seems likely to remain that way.